In the beginning, there was nothing but Gnumagap, the Great Void. A cold world in the north, Niflheim, and a world in the south, made of fire and burning heat, Muspelheim. Within Niflheim, there was a well called Vermander, from which rivers of poisonous water flowed into the void until they froze. One of these rivers formed the first frost giant, Yernmer, the father of all the giants, and he would have stayed frozen if not for the heat of Muspelheim. From these rivers also came Yermer's wet nurse, Aldumla, who was a cow. She licked the salt of the ice, and within three days of licking, the first god, Burra, was born. He had a son with a female giant and named the son Bor. Bor had three sons, Ve, Vila, and Odin. These three boys killed Yermer and used his body to create the other worlds, in between Niflheim and Muspelheim. They used his body to create Mannheim, the domain of mankind. His flesh became the earth, his blood the oceans, his bones and teeth the rocks and hills, his hair the plants, his skull the sky, and his brains the clouds. And from two tree trunks, the sons of Bor created Usk and Imbla, the first humans. Odin gave them breath and life, Ve gave them looks and senses, Vila gave them ability and reason. The gods realized that humans needed protection from the giants, and they took the eyebrows of Ymir to create Midgard, which encircled Mannheim, splitting the earth into three worlds, one for men, one for the giants, and one for the gods. Later, Mannheim was encircled by Loki's child, the serpent of the world, Jarmander. They then spread the world around the tree of life, Yrkthasil, and thus the world of man was complete, until Ragnarok.